I taped him. He didn't want to, I put him up to it. Yeah, well, we figure that. That's why our boss wants you hurt bad. Do you mind if I take the gag off Scott? He can't breathe. Oh, I mind all right. And now that I have the two of you alone, it's payback time for taping my Uncle Harry's conversations and sending him to jail. <laughs> Mr. P? Yeah, I know. It's dark so early this time of year and the weather. <laughs> Don't even know what to wear. What really keeps me guessing? It's sweating as well. You got that right, Grandpa. Yeah. It's global warming. Man, these are salty. Take the plate. All yours. No, oh, no, thanks, Mr. Lee. This guy doesn't like to impose. I got it first, Grandpa. No grabbing. Hey, Mom, who do you know at WKPL? Well, what's the WKPL, darling? It's a local TV station, Leanna. It's channel 61 on the UHF dial. Or channel 153 if you live in this century. Oh, look at this. It looks like Aunt Jenny's coming to stay next week. Dear, will you make sure the guest room has clean towels and sheets for my sister? Of course, Mom. I hope Aunt Jenny and I go out like we did last time. That was so much fun. She helped me catch the men Didn't who- Didn't you um, ask your mom about WKPL? Uh, I'm sure it's something from the count. It's been such a long time. It's good to hear from him. From who, Mom? From whom? It's from Count Gore. What does he want with you? Well, my little darling, it looks like he wants us to... He wants us to come to a taping of his show? I cannot believe this. Victoria and I watch his show every Saturday night. When Victoria was little, she used to scream when the Count would come out of his coffin. I can't say I always approved of the two of you watching that show. I didn't think it was for children, but Victoria's parents were a bit more permissive. I think I let you sleep over there a bit too much when you were a little girl. Well, what do you think he really wants, Leanna? I think he wants us to come to a taping of his show. That's all, Grandpa. That's all? Are you crazy? When are we going? Young lady, I don't think it's polite to question your mother's sanity. Especially when she's holding a personal invitation from Count Gore himself to attend the taping of his TV show. Isn't that right, Leanna? Can we take Victoria? Oh my gosh, she would love to meet the Count. That would be so funny, because when we were little and I was... Okay, all uh, right, I think we can take a guest or two, but I think huh? that... <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to go call Victoria. This is so cool. This is the new technology, Vicky. The cameras used to be humongous. Now they're the size of a purse. I wonder if the cat will let me be on the show. I am playing Juliet in the school play next year. It's because I'm a very good actress. It would be a privilege yeah. to have the next Meryl Streep on my program. <laughs> Hello, Count. Thank you for thinking of me. After all these years... Ah, oh, Leanna. It's so good to see you again. When I saw that you had taken over the antique store, I just knew I had to write and invite you to come. And I'm so glad you did. Nice to see you, Count. Oh, Grandpa, what a surprise! <laughs> ah, you're looking fine, you old buzzard. <laughs> From what I see, I'm not the only good-looking old buzzard in the room. How are you staying so young-looking, Count? Fresh blood? Uh, as you know only too well, Grandpa, 
a vampire needs fresh blood to uh, to stay young. <laughs> ah, and this must be the lovely Luana, little Miss TNT, if I'm not mistaken. I'm honored to meet you. We we've watched your show since we were little girls. This is my friend Victoria. She's an actress. Ah, yes. The next Meryl Streep. Ah, oh, come now, you can't be shy. Miss Vicky, an actress, can't be shy. Oh, oh she's, she's not, not shy. shy. Oh, you could have fooled me. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Um, we're about ready to get started videotaping, so if uh, you don't mind, uh, can we move backstage so we can get the lights up? Oh, of course. Uh, everyone, this is my nephew, Scott. He comes by every week to help me out uh, on the show. Uh, Scott, this is my best student ever. You can just call me Leanna. It's very nice, nice to, meet, nice to you. meet you too. And, and this is my friend from old radio days. Just another old buzzard. Hello. <laughs> and this one you may know. They call her Little Miss TNT in the newspapers. Oh, that's right. I always read about you when you're in the paper. <laughs> We've actually followed your career. Like when you stopped the burglaries at the hospital. I mean, that was amazing. How did you figure out that they were hiding the stolen supplies in the bedpans? It just made sense. Mysteries are usually logically solved. I'm Victoria. I always help Luana. I was with her in the hospital. Oh, that's right. Um, Luana was at the hospital because you had to have your tonsils out. Well, it's really nice to meet you. Um, Scott, weren't you trying to get the Count to start the show? <laughs> That's right. Uh, if you don't mind, can we move backstage and get started? Absolutely. Everyone, if you'll just stand off to the side, I'm going to do the introduction, where I introduce everything. <laughs> Greetings and welcome, my little ghouls and ghoulettes. I'm the Count. And it's so good of you to stay up so late, my little vampires and vampirellas. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight I bring you a movie of grave importance. <laughs> it's so grave as a matter of fact that some of you may end up in it before we're finished. <laughs> it's a movie entitled The Alien Factor. It's about an alien who falls from the sky in a spaceship that looks a lot like toothbrush holder. And he crashes outside the home and he gets chased through the woods endlessly by a corrupt mayor and a baby inside. I can do this myself. I know where you're going. You and Scott were staring at each other the whole time. Don't kid yourself, though. He looks 18. That's way too old for you, but just right for me. Is it a good movie? It's a classic bummer. But that's okay. It's fun to watch. And let's get to part one of The Alien Factor tonight. You will enjoy. <laughs> oh, hey. I actually wanted to talk to you alone for a minute if I could. Excuse me? It's not what you think, it's just business. Don't you need to use the ladies room before we leave? So do you. Okay, I get it. That's her mystery face, handsome. Don't get your hopes up. What's going on? Um, I actually can't really talk about it here. What did those guys want? Money. You gamble? Oh no, I'm too cheap. <laughs> Look, um, your grandpa's coming. Can I maybe call you later? Yes, but only because I sense a mystery. Not because I think you're cute. My number is 555-3124. Hello, this is Luana. Hey, Luana, what's up? It's Scott. Oh, hi, Scott. Of course I remember you. How are you? Yeah, um... Well, I was wondering if you wanted to meet up at Lucy's later. Uh, let me ask. Mom, it's the Count's nephew, Scott. He wants to know if I can get root beer with him tonight at Lucy's. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to meet him? 
I kind of want to stay here and finish the movie with you. Well, you know, it's been my experience that if you keep a boy waiting for a little while, there's more of a mystery about you as a person. Um, Scott, can this wait until Monday? Oh, uh, Monday? Okay, Monday works. All right, see you Monday. Bye. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, get away from me! So, little detective girlfriend gonna help get money to pay for your loan? No. We were just gonna meet up for some root beer. And it's none of your business anyways. Oh, it's our business, all right. You owe our boss money. You can't afford root beer. I don't have to give up the house. I'm current on my payments. Mr. Wehrmeyer wants to see you Monday. He wants to talk to you about how wise it would be to sign over the deed to your house. I don't owe him anything. I just put up the house as collateral, that's all. You owe our boss money, and yet you want to spend it on root beer, girls, and a cell phone? Who's your long distance carrier? What? I asked nicely, who is your long distance carrier? Surprising. <laughs> Call him. Tell him your service has been interrupted. Mr. Wehrmeyer wants to see you Monday morning at his office. You know where it is. It's where you borrowed all that money and signed over the deed to your house. <laughs> Who's your long distance carrier? Now you two have messed this up royally, and now I've got to fix it. Last night I had to call the kid and apologize for what you two dolts did. Now this still may work out. When the kid comes in, by the end of our meeting, I'll make sure that he's given me the house. But Uncle Harry... Don't you Uncle Harry me! Don't you understand? With the kid's house, we own that entire block. That means that we can knock down the buildings and rent the area to the Smolex Gas Company. The bear is in the cave. I said no code words. Just tell me that Scott got in there, okay? The bear is safe. Mr. Wehrmeyer, young Scott is here to see you. Give me a minute, Miss Rogers, and then send him in. Stop calling Scott a bear. The eagle has landed. Okay, fine, whatever. Is he safe? The bear is in the zoo. Stop it already. Oh, lighten up. I'm the one in real danger. No, you're not in any danger. They know what I look like. And Scott is in that office, possibly signing away his mother's house. To them, you're just a crazy girl in a raincoat. Did you really kiss Scott? Scott, good of you to come in today. Glad you're coming to your senses. Oh, I'm not going to sell my house yet. I, uh, I wanted to go over what you told me a couple weeks ago. You know, before these guys started coming around to beat me up. Scott, it sounds like you're finally thinking. And I want to apologize again for my two assistants. They should have never have roughed you up. They clearly misunderstood my instructions. I was really scared. I never told them to go down to the TV station the other night. Uh-oh. I see the two bullies who chased Scott and me the other night. They're walking up the street. Where? Don't look, you dummy! Am I in danger? I don't have a cute college boy to protect me. I think my cover is broken. Knock on the door and get Scott. Now that they have seen me, he's in trouble. Oh my gosh, I see them. They are ugly with a capital U-G-L-Y. Too late, don't move. And stop talking into your collar. Here they come, what should I do? Could you take a few moments and tell me again why exactly I need to sell my house to you? Of course I can. And this time I can do it without screaming at you. <laughs> You're a smart kid. It didn't need to get ugly. Hello, boys. What were you doing in there? I just came by to have Mr. Wehrmeyer explain again exactly why it's important that I sign over the house. Look, okay, it, it never should have gotten this far. It's a life lesson that I had to learn, and... Well, thanks for your help and everything. Come on, let's get out of here. All the sweetness is hurting my teeth. You came through loud and clear. It was clearly extortion. We've cooked Wehrmeyer's goose. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere where I can take this wire off. It's really itchy. 
stop it, silly. Who knows who could be watching? I don't care what you do, get that punk. He was wired. Thanks to his tapes, they've got me down here for extortion and who knows what else. I hold you two idiots responsible. Look, just go get the kid and that stupid little girl detective. But first get your Uncle Ivan down here to pay my bail! Did I just hear you make a threatening phone call from a police station? Why, no officer. I was just calling my mother to get my uncle to come down and post my bail. Well, after everything you did for the Count's nephew, he says we're welcome back here any time. Oh, it was nothing. Besides, this is the first time in years the Count has done a show live. I can't wait to see it. The station decided to capitalize on all the publicity, so they've really been promoting tonight's return to live TV. I'm going to ask the Count if I can be on his show. I'm sure he'll let me. He really likes me. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I don't see Scott or the Count anywhere. I wonder where they are. They, they got Scott! They got Scott! I just received a message on my cell phone. They're holding him and they're not going to let him go unless he withdraws his testimony! Slow down, Count. Let me see your cell phone. Oh, here. This number's in the building. Where's extension 422? 422, that's Studio B on the other side of the building. Uh, Vienna, I need your help. What do you want me to do? I want you to go get into makeup and open the show. Oh. Grandpa, let's go. Which way? Uh, this way. Uh, Katie, get Leanne into makeup. We have about seven minutes before we go live. Grandpa, go in. What? Grandpa, let me take Lee. It's okay. She knows what she's doing. Okay. Let's stay behind. for what you wish for. You might get it. Four, three. Good evening, my boys and ghouls. <laughs> I am the Countess Mama from the island of all darkness, Night Slavia. <laughs> and this is my beautiful young niece. My beautiful young niece, the Countess Lauren Dreiters. <laughs> oh, you see, she went out at night without covering her throat. And now she has a bad cold. <laughs> Come on, guys. You know me. I would never... Anybody followed you, the kid gets smacked. Can I take the gag off? He can't breathe. Are you okay, hon? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you wouldn't hurt him, would you? My uncle's in jail because your honey taped him illegally, and you helped. My mom's really mad at me. <gasps> Which brings us to tonight's feature film. Galaxy Invader by the great Don Dollar. I taped him. He didn't want to, I put him up to it. Yeah, well, we figured that. That's why our boss wants you hurt bad. Do you mind if I take the gag off Scott? He can't breathe. Oh, I mind all right. And now that I have the two of you alone, it's payback time for taping my Uncle Harry's conversations and sending him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Here, use these scissors to set him free. <laughs> it's dinner time. <laughs> It says here they had to sell the houses back to everyone on that corner. 
Turns out Weirmeyer was a front for the oil company and... Uh, and according to the town's charter, that land was zoned for residential only. The town doesn't want a gas station so close to the park. Exactly, honey. Well, Victoria and I are going to meet Scott at Lucy's. Oh, would you like to invite your young friend over for dinner tonight? I think it's too soon. Maybe next month sometime. I like to keep a little mystery around me when I deal with my men. A wise old bird told me that once. <laughs> Be careful, honey. Oh my, she really is something else, isn't she? No wonder she and Jenny get along so well. Guess we better get ready for more adventures. <laughs> <laughs>